Good morning, Saugus. I'm Nolan Hodge, and today is Wednesday, December 6th. And I'm Ryan Harris. This is SNN. For today's fact of the day, we thought we'd tell you about National Gazpacho Day. Gazpacho is a cold-served Spanish soup typically made with vegetables and tomato base. New recipe variations also include fruits and herbs such as watermelon, grapes, cucumbers, avocados, and parsley, which give the dish, excuse me, which give the dish a refreshing taste. Gazpacho originated in Andalusia, Spain as food for peasants, shepherds, and vineyard workers. The soup's name comes from the Arabic term for soaked bread, which refers to how the dish was originally made with stale bread soaked in vinegar and water. Today, gazpacho is one of the most unique soups with many variations of flavors and ingredients. Enjoy a bowl of gazpacho to celebrate National Gazpacho Day. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. FAFSA will be available for seniors to apply online for financial aid for secondary education this month. There is a new and improved FAFSA provided by the federal government which delayed its release. The deadline will still be March 2nd of 2024. Senior families will be notified when the application is available. Choir will be perform performing their holiday concert this Friday, December 8th at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $10 and can be purchased on GoFan or at the door. If you are in need of COVID tests for the winter, you can pick some up at the health office. Tests are available for everyone. Seniors, you can submit photos and videos to this year's Senior Slideshow. Senior Slideshow is a highlight reel of memorable moments you seniors submit from any point throughout your childhood and high school life. Pictures or videos can be submitted to our email or Instagram listed below. Slideshows are available for purchase in the ASB office for $15. Now, let's go to Shanine Gavorgas with this week's ASB Minute. <music> Good morning, Saugus. I'm Shaniga Borges with this week's ASB Minute. With the holidays approaching, let's celebrate with the Spirit Week. I hope you all enjoyed a cookie yesterday or on, and br during brunch and are currently enjoying a cup of hot chocolate. The Spirit Week continues tomorrow as Santa Claus will be handing out candy canes to students. The last Spirit Day will be this Friday, so show your holiday spirit by wearing your favorite Christmas pajamas. Don't forget, there's a basketball game this Friday in the Saugus Gym. Varsity plays at 6.30 against Hart. The theme, it's ugly sweaters. I better see you all there dressed up in your ugly sweaters. Would you like to win free prizes? If you're at the basketball game this Friday and have an ASB card, you'll have the chance to win a free parking pass, prom ticket, and more. In order to receive these prizes, you must participate and win the presented game during halftime. Good luck. That's all from me. Now, let's go to Bardia Siri with today's Saga Sports Update. Thanks, Shanine. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Bardi Seri with today's Saugus Sports Update. Congratulations to boys varsity basketball team last night for being the first team in history to be ahead at halftime. Justin Perez had 19 points with four rebounds and two assists. Peter Burton also had 19 points with five rebounds and four assists. Matt Correa scored 11 points with 10 rebounds and seven assists. And Max Gordado had 10 points with four rebounds. Congrats again. Tomorrow, boys soccer plays West Ranch at West Ranch. Varsity plays at 315, JV plays at 5, and Frosch plays at 630. Girls soccer also plays West Ranch at Saugus. Varsity starts at 315, JV starts at 5, and Frosch starts at 630. Good luck to all of our Centurion athletes. 
track tryouts, and today on the track at three. If you have any questions, see Coach Stanley in room M1302. That's all for me. On campus, many students have a hard time using the bathroom. Let's go to Nina Rapol asking students and staff on how to improve this issue. Good morning, Saugus. This is Nina Rapol reporting for SNM. Being able to safely use the school bathrooms has been one of the pending issues at Saugus. Whether it's due to loitering or use of substances, Saugus students have found it hard to safely use the school bathrooms. This is a problem that needs to be addressed head on. Saugus students have given us insight on how this issue affects them personally and observations on how this issue affects Saugus' student body as a whole. When you go into the bathrooms, of course, there's the, it's a public bathroom. What can you do? There's some of the general issues with it. There's a big stigma around the bathrooms of people just don't want to go to the bathroom in the bathrooms that we have. But the larger problem that I believe has to be addressed is the amount of people crowding in them. And the main cause of that issue is vaping. If I go during brunch or lunch, then either they're so busy that I can barely even use the bathroom or there's so many people in there that I just like don't want to. There are times when everything on the campus is closed and at that point you just kind of have to say, well, I guess I'm not using it then. I do know people who just completely don't use the bathrooms because they feel so uncomfortable with sanitary reasons as well, like people doing other things in the bathroom other than just using the bathroom. It's to the point where you can't wash your hands because the soap dispensers are always gone. Maybe if there's more places to hang out inside, because I mean, it is California, but it does get cold and windy and it's just a place to sort of go and like be in side an honor system or a sign-up system isn't the way to go forward with that it is really just task of guarding the bathrooms every once in a while i see someone a uh, campus supervisor standing in front of something like the s hall bathrooms and they're letting people in like four at a time as many open stalls as there are you go in you go out once you're done that might solve some people's comfortability issues. They're not allowed to linger because somebody else is going to go in. We've asked Saugus' principal, Mrs. Peterson Henry, about how she plans to solve the bathroom issues. You need to be able to use the bathroom, and that needs to be a safe and clean spot. And so as an admin team, that's something that's really important to us. And it really upsets us when things happen, like uh, somebody sets off a fire alarm from a bathroom because they're doing something they shouldn't, or somebody vandalizes it. Um, that's really a problem. And if you go into a bathroom and there's something going on, and there's a lot of students that already do this, they will go in a bathroom and they'll use our text -a tip And that line, the number for text -a tip should be in your phone automatically. Um, if you don't have it in there already, put, that can be your go-to. Or you can tell any campus supervisor, hey, I just went in this bathroom. It's, you know, something's not right in there, whatever it is. So really, you're our eyes and ears. If you let us know immediately, we can work on our response time and make sure that we get a custodian or close the bathroom if we have to because it's going to take longer. But we want to be really responsive to when you let us know. We try to keep them all open. We op try to keep as many open as we can. The only time that we would close it for just a short time would be for maintenance. We don't want you waiting in line during brunch and lunch. We also don't want you to miss class. We don't want you to have to walk clear across the campus to find a bathroom. So the students should feel comfortable using the school bathrooms at any time of day and feel comfortable in the environment around them. This is something that can only be accomplished not just by the help of staff, but students as well. If you see something, say something. This has been Nita Rapol reporting for SNN. Remember, Saugus, if you see something, say something. If you are a senior parking in the parking lot, be sure that your parking pass is in full display for campus supervisors to see when they walk around. If a permit is not visible, tickets may be issued, even if it is present in the car. Students are not allowed to leave class to pick up deliveries. This includes foods and drinks. Deliveries should be scheduled and picked up during brunch or lunch. 
All students who purchase an ASB card must have a valid identification printed on their ID in order to enter games and events. If you recently purchased an ASB card and do not already have the identification printed or lost your student ID, you can visit the ASB office to reprint it. That's all for today. I'm Nolan Hodge. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus Today. And I'm Ryan Harris. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.